Hi, what's your name? Hi there, my name is Susan Collins. I'm a professional dowser, and I'm really happy to be here at the Alien Cosmic Expo 2015. So is that the is that the dowsing uh, apparatus? This is a dowsing tool, although I think anything can be used uh, as a dowsing tool. We're simply amplifying our body's wisdom and our body's knowledge and having it come out in a tool. Okay, so what's it used for and how do you do it? Well, uh, what it's used for, I'll give you a bit of my background. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis when I was 29 and I spent the next 23 years with my hands basically as claws. I couldn't open or close them. My life shut down, my body shut down. I went through regular medicine, alternative medicine, and the thing that brought me back from poor health was dowsing. And this is a way to detect earth energies, environmental energies, psychic energies, and it turned out I'm one of these canary in the coal mine people where non-beneficial energies were making me sick. So I, I finally took responsibility for my own health, went to the library, and I found a book called Dowsing in Your Health. And that said, there's, there's energies around, and if we can learn to detect them, we can learn first to eliminate non-beneficial effects of these things, and also to bring our own bodies into resonance with the beneficial energies of the planet. So how do you do that? Get your own body in, in you know, more balance, and how does it relate to getting it in resonance with the planet? So the way we can get our own bodies more in resonance with our health, back in those days I was drinking a, I was drinking a diet uh, pop. I'm not going to say the brand name, but I thought, oh, I'm going to lose some weight, I'm going to drink Diet Pop. With the dowsing tool, I was able to determine, and somebody helped me, that it was not a healthy beverage for me to drink. So then I went through my other foods, and I went, is, is this a beneficial food for me to drink? So I learned what foods would support me, what foods would not support me. Then it turned out that where I was sleeping and spending my time was making me sick. So my dowsing tools helped me to understand that where was a healthy place. Place. So how do you, what did you do, did you ask a question and you got a yes or no answer type of basically, thing? Basically we're playing 20 questions with the universe. So we start off in a neutral, so for me neutral is just going back and forth to and from my body. My yes is a clockwise motion, I go back to neutral and my no is a counterclockwise motion. So you know, motion. you're not actually manipulating no, so, it with your fingers, that's just no, you can see moving my hand, my hand is from your really thoughts. Moving. Yes. Or yeah, it's, intent. It's, it's the intent, it's uh, feedback from very subtle energies in my body. But I'm keeping my hand as still as I can. So let's see a yes. So my yes is clockwise, my neutral is back and forth, and my no is counterclockwise. So there's really very little motion in my hand. Okay. So how does this relate to the uh, Alien Cosmic Expo? Well, that's a good question. How does dowsing relate to Alien Cosmic Expo? Um, through the dowsing, I've become very good at communicating with interdimensional energies. So I'm also a professional well locator. I find water with a set of sticks. So I've learned to listen to the energy of the water, of the earth, of fire, of air. And uh, I'm also a professional ghostbuster. And we, we have a a strong yes on that. You see, I'm still not moving my hand. The, the pendulum itself, so a, a strong yes. I'm holding my hand as still as I can. So let's, let's just go back. It's like, we get a confirmation. What you're seeing is confirmation. So if we just think and we speak, we, knew, we know from the law of attraction that thinking about something brings it in. But the more advanced teaching is that thought plus intention plus physical action can create something. The tool sets up a frequency in the universe, and that frequency changes things. See, that's going to a yes, I think. Yeah, it's right? confirming what I'm saying. Confirming, you're saying yes, It's yes. confirming, yes. That's like, yeah, I'm right. So if, if I was wrong, if I was saying, um, See, now it's a neutral, right? Yeah, because I'm thinking. Yeah. Because right, I haven't really developed the thought. So it, it waits for me to go, well, if I was to tell a lie, it would go counterclockwise. Counter that's and what so, it's doing. It's, yeah, and it's going counterclockwise if <laughs> I was lying. So how does this all relate to aliens and to health? For me, my, my, um, my passage into this world was really through learning to dialogue with interdimensional energy so I can... I can 
ask things and I get answers. So it's like having an answered prayer almost. So in addition to the energies of food and the planet, I have found off-planet types of energies. So my path, you know, we talk about aliens, we talk about all these things out there. Going clockwise, pretty quick. It's agreeing with me. Yeah, but pretty quick, so they're pretty heavy, yes. Okay, go ahead. Um, but what, what I facilitate is actual communication. So instead of just talking about, oh, I saw something, <laughs> I didn't see anything. I have never, I have not, see, it's confirming what I'm saying. I haven't seen an alien. I haven't seen a ship. As far as I know, I have not been abducted. However, it is possible for me to communicate with these energies, which may be off planet. So there were energies. It's a big yes. It's a big yes. Maybe they're knocking on your door now. They want to talk. <laughs> well, they always do. They always do. But as a conscious channel, I don't channel anything. I'm a conscious. You know, conscious. I'm conscious. And you're using the tool to get a yes or no it's a or to communicate. Device that confirms what I'm saying is true for me. And so I work with other people as well to help them determine what subconsciously is going on with it. Or what are the outdated roles or vows or what's going on in the body. This is neutral. Because I'm just speaking generally now. But this is what I help people do is, is, um, is get information about their own body, their own life. So how do you help other people with their health, for example? Well, uh, I'm not legally permitted to diagnose or treat, but I can assist people in uh, finding out which foods support their health. By getting like a yes or no or something? Like, yeah, so for example, Is this good for you 70% or 90%? Exactly, we do Because that's the dowsing thing is going to spin slower fast. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, we, we use charts as well. I notice uh, in here you've got uh, pictures of interesting energy. Tell me uh, about that. We have orb energy. Um, What's an orb for those that don't know? Okay, so a little promo for my book. <laughs> uh, orb energies are energy phenomena. So not much has been known about these things. Um, Okay, so we'll do this. So this, we have undifferentiated plasma, if you will. I believe this is like the prana. I take the photographs at night. Visually, it's a clear night. There's nothing in the sky. But the camera may pick up um, undifferentiated circles, orb energy. So that's prana. I say dowsing is the collapse of the quantum wave. In this picture, there are two people, and it's a teacher teaching a young girl about orb energy and about dowsing. In that teaching, we have orbs forming. So from all probability and all possibility, matter coalesces into form and then shapes. I'll show you a couple of other pictures. Um, this is my early work. Uh, just putting a camera, an ordinary point and shoot camera, put it on a tripod and then set the timer and then run it and take pictures. So it's an ordinary camera and it's simply the resonance of our hearts that allow us to resonate with other dimensional energies and I invite them to come in. I say, orb energies, uh, please allow your forms to be photographed. Uh, there's various, some people, these are daylight orbs. So this is my original photograph and I was just out there taking uh, a photograph to see how big the spring flood was. But when I expanded the photo, onto my computer, I saw that it's like a headlight. So there's no, it doesn't have the classic ringed orb structure. It's just a bright headlight in the middle of my tree. And hard to see here, but there's red on one side, blue on the other, and we start thinking about what is, perhaps the Doppler effect is, um, is take, the Doppler effect shows us movement. So there may be movement. Hexagonal as well, so again, there's the original image of the tree. I blow it up and I get a beautiful hexagonal image. Wow. So there are many forms of energy. This is uh, the energy of a flower. You know, I call that the beautiful blue fairy. So when you come with an open heart into nature or wherever you are and resonate and ask those energies to be photographed and to be part of what we are, you may find that they, they come onto your camera. Perfect. Now, I noticed you wrote a lot of interesting books here. Well, uh, my journey, part of my journey, I mentioned that I had, had crippled with arthritis for many years. 
the way I got out of that was through dowsing. Um, I went to conferences, I had teachers, and I distilled that information and was able to bring, I don't take any drugs now, I eat everything, my life is good. So I tried to take this information I'd been given and then put it into books in a format that I could pass that on to other people. Tell me about your books. Um, the first, the first book I wrote, Bridge Matter and Spirit with Dowsing, it's, it's the big book of Dowsing, it's the, basically a classic reference book. So it's, I'm a professional, so I have many case studies, and it talks about uh, how to use the tools. Um, my next book, some people don't learn through reading, so this is another little book, Use a Protocol to Get Results. So typically, if you just pick up a pendulum and start dowsing, you don't know where you're answers are coming from. So there's a way to get into personal truth. So that's what we look at. Nice. There are more advanced, you know, I've got something for everything, for everybody. More advanced techniques, look at what are the different problem areas of extra consciousness or entities or all kinds of things. The book on orbs, of course. Um, I'm, I'm also classically a water well doser, so this is a very technical book that you can pick up a pair of rods for the first time and go out and find water. So to me, the greatest blessing we can ever do, as with dousing, is to find water for people who need it. We simply go out on the land, and we feel the energy in our bodies, and that's reflected with our tools. Mm. And it's ten thousand dollars later, somebody comes in with a drill rig. I see. Also, you have a book on space clearing. Yeah. So this is uh, dosing for feng shui and space clearing. The feng shui community asked me to write the book. They said to me, we are going into spaces, feng shui practitioners, we're going into spaces, we're finding things, we're not sure what those things are. Can you help us? So I, from a dousing perspective, and I am not a trained feng shui practitioner, but I've done a survey of classical feng shui and uh, adapted that. I don't have any. I don't have so many pretty pictures in here. But I've, okay. I've adapted the dousing uh, techniques to it's geomancy. Feng shui is geomancy. So we're learning how to find the living force. Feng shui is, no offense to any feng shui practitioner, feng shui is based on rules, very much inherited from the Chinese and Asian cultures. With the dousing tools, we are interacting with the living force. So as we have evolved as a culture, we can now interact with interdimensional energy to find out, is this a good place for my child's bed? Is this a good place for me to put my piano, for example? Or my dog or my cat. Or my dog or my cat. Interesting, dogs and cats have opposite energy. So dogs and humans have similar energy. Where your dog likes to spend time is healthy for you. Where your cat likes to sit is not healthy for you. So if your cat is sleeping on your bed, when you're not there, it's not a good thing. Then I should sleep on the floor. <laughs> but if your dog sleeps on the bed, Get his own bed. <laughs> Get his own bed, exactly. <laughs> Some more, more information at your website, Susan? Uh, my website is dowser.ca, and please send me an email, susan at dowser.ca. I will send you some free protocols on how to get yourself going. Great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Well, there's some guys that are doing